Hi, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio. I want to talk today about Audacity 3.2 and more specifically, probably the biggest change, the biggest addition in 3.2, which is something called real-time FX or real-time effects. As you can see, even Audacity thinks that was the biggest change out of all the changes that were made because that's the only thing they have listed in their welcome screen here. So real-time effects. What is that? Well, first, in all the demos I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be using effects that I added, not the ones that came with Audacity. So for example, out of the box, without having added any effects at all, Audacity comes with these effects right here, the ones in this little area. Everything else that I have in here are things that I added later, VST effects, third-party effects. The reason I'm mentioning this is that for real-time effects, the new thing over here, you will not see any of the built-in effects that come with Audacity. Only the ones that you add later, VST effects. So I'm going to try to stick to using just those for this demonstration. All right, so in the past, if I wanted to apply an effect, it would go in destructively. So what does that mean? It's not a bad thing. It doesn't mean that you're destroying anything or that it's a bad way to do it. It just means that any effect you apply is sort of permanent here to the actual waveform. It just gets printed to it right away. You can undo it still, of course, but that comes with a bunch of problems. So let me demonstrate here by applying an equalization effect from a program that I installed called Ozone. So Ozone Equalizer. Now I'm gonna make a change to some of the frequencies and preview it. Okay, I am doing another test with the... Okay, so let's just pretend that this is what I want. I'm gonna go ahead and click Apply. Now you can see that the waveforms changed right away. That's because the effect got applied to the waveform immediately after I clicked Apply. That's what destructive means. I kind of like seeing how the waveforms are actually affected when you apply the thing. It can have its own advantages. Anyway, so that's the equalizer. Now let's say I want to add a reverb. So I'm going to come in here and add a reverb that I added called Valhalla Vintage Verb. And let's do a preview. Okay, I am... Oh, that's a little much. Let me change that down here. I am doing another test. So let's say that's what I want. See the waveform change it again. And now let's add one more thing called maximize, an effect called the maximizer. And as I preview that, okay, I am doing another test with the, I can't make any changes while I'm previewing it. That will become important in a minute. So let me change some settings and preview that. Okay, I am Save. doing another test. Let's say that's what I want, so I'll apply that. All right, so I've now done three things. Now, as I listen, okay, let's say I don't like that EQ. It wasn't a good EQ to begin with, but I'm just trying to make a point here. If I want to undo that EQ, I would have to undo everything I did after it first. So I would have to undo the maximizer, then I'd have to undo the reverb, and then I could undo the equalizer. Then I'd have to go back and change the settings and see if that worked. And if that didn't work, I would have to do it again and again and again, constantly undoing. That is what destructive editing is. One thing I do like about destructive editing is I can apply an effect to just this section here. I'm just going to use the EQ to demonstrate that. I'll hit the apply button. And you'll see that that applied only to this selection and not to the others. You can't do that using real-time effects. It's probably the one drawback of this feature. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Now let's get to the real-time effects. Like I said, this new effects button appeared on the track control panel. And that means that any effect that you apply actually applies to the track and not to the audio directly. So I could have multiple audio items in here and the effect would apply to all of them, which is something that's different from destructive editing. So let's go ahead and apply the same thing that we applied before. And remember, these are only the effects that I added. So I will do that equalizer first. I'll click on it to open the control. And let me go ahead and apply that extreme equalize. And plus, let's preview this. So I'm just going to put the cursor there. Now there's like a, um, a fade out of the noise. Now I can 
change this as it's playing, something I couldn't do even in the preview mode with destructive editing. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this and make changes as I go. Uh, there's like a um, a fade out of the noise, which is weird. It doesn't, there's no sense to that because then the noise is still. Okay, so I made all these changes and you could hear them happen as I made them while the audio was playing. Hence the name real time effect. So let's just say I wanted this. I'm going to just close that because it's applied to the track. You don't have to hit an apply button. Just having it on here applies it to the whole track. Now I could turn it off, it's still there, but I've just sort of hidden it in a way, and then I could turn it back on. That can be handy, especially when you have multiple effects to find out how they work together. But anyway, let me add another effect. I'll add that reverb again. Uh, there's like a, a fade out. Okay, that's way too much, so let's take it down. Uh, there's like a, um, a fade out. And I'm gonna slowly drop this until I get the amount I want. Uh, there's like a um, a fade out of the noise, which is weird. It doesn't, it, there's no sense to that because then the noise. Okay, so let's say that I want this amount of reverb. Well, it's there. It's done. It's applied to the track. And just to match what I did for the destructive editing demo, I'm going to add a third effect, that maximizer in Ozone. And again, let's do some real-time tweaking. So... Uh, there's like a um, a fade out of the noise, which is weird. It doesn't, it, there's no sense to that because then the noise is still there in the phrases after the voice stops talking. So you can hear the changes as I make them. I'll just go ahead and close that. All these are now applied to this track. So all the audio is affected. Now, if I wanted to change the equalizer, Remember in destructive editing, I would have to undo this maximizer and then undo the reverb, then undo the equalizer. Well here, I'm just gonna go straight to the equalizer and make the changes. Uh, there's like a, um, a fade out of the noise, which is weird. It doesn't, it, there's no sense to that because then the noise is still there in the phrases after the voice stops talking. Okay, so let's say I like that. I can just dial it in, don't have to do any undoing. And like I mentioned earlier, I can turn one or more off as it's playing. Uh, there's like a, let me tweak that up so you can notice when it goes off. Uh, there's like a, um, a fade out of the noise, which is weird. It doesn't, it, there's no sense to that because then the noise is still there in the phrases after the voice stops talking. It just takes a second to fade out and no, don't want that. Okay, so I can audition what it sounds like with any combination of these effects over here that I want, all of them, some of them, none of them, and I can adjust them and tweak them in real time while I'm auditioning the audio to make sure that I have just the right amount of the effect and the right kind of effect happening to my audio, and none of it is actually getting applied. That's why I can turn these on and off while the audio plays. Then when I'm ready, let's say I don't want this maximizer, but I just want the equalizer and the reverb. Uh, there's like a, um, a fade. Then I would go to File, Export, and I would export this as an MP3 or WAV or whatever, and then the effect would be printed onto the waveform, and then you'd see the changes that that made, and uh, you would hear them, of course, when you played the file. So that is the difference between destructive editing, which is what Audacity has been up until this point, and how you can use real-time effects now with version 3.2, which gives you all kinds of flexibility, can make things faster and easier, and allows you to put just the amount of every effect in any combination that you want. Very cool stuff.